Hey everybody, I'm Jason Scott with Six Degrees. In today's segment, I wanna talk about the struggling fast food giant, McDonald's. So earlier this week, McDonald's new CEO, Steve Easterbrook, he unveiled a turnaround plan for the company. And Easterbrook seems to be a pretty straight shooter, stating that McDonald's recent performance was poor and that the numbers don't lie. And they sure don't. McDonald's sales have fallen for six straight quarters in the U.S., where the company is fighting a pretty widespread public perception that its food is unhealthy and overprocessed. The chain has also been hurt by a series of food safety scandals in Asia, which contributed to about 15% loss in net income last year. In his 23-minute video overview, Easterbrook also added that he wouldn't shy away from the urgent need to reset the business. Now, just three days after outlining his aggressive yet thorough turnaround plan, we got to see the first dramatic change. So, was it the strategy for streamlining their corporate structure? No. Was it to the quality of the food? No. Is it more control to the franchisees? No. What we learned this week is that they're bringing back the hamburger. Yeah, remember this guy? Short, cartoony looking fella, big rounded cheeks with a single giant tooth? Well, time has clearly been good to him because the updated version of the Hamburglar, complete with snappy black fedora and red leather high tops, that's a far cry from the weird looking burger stealer we once knew. Joel Yashinsky, McDonald's Vice President of US Marketing, he shed a bit of light on the new look in a statement where he said, the Hamburglar has had some time to grow up a bit and has been busy raising a family in the suburbs and his look has evolved over time. Okay, well, seems a bit misguided for a happy suburban dad to take up burger thieving again at his age, but hey. I suppose the real question is whether or not this updated version of the classic character will help stoke the fires for Easterbrook's turnaround plan. But perhaps that won't matter because the same week we're introduced to the new slimmed down handsome family man version of the Hamburglar, actor James Franco writes an op-ed for the Washington Post titled, McDonald's was there for me when no one else was. Single tear. Franco stated that he was treated fairly well at McDonald's, and when he was hungry for work, they fed the need. Sounds pretty good. Nice endorsement, right? However, he did go on to write that everyone, including him, ate fries straight from the fry hopper. You walk by and snag a fry and pop it in your mouth. So easy. So that conjures up some nice images, doesn't it? So it's too early to know exactly what, if anything, will fix what's broken with the McDonald's brand. It's a complex company, too enormous and too entrenched to adapt to change easily. However, Easterbrook must start to introduce changes that will make the brand relevant again, changes that shareholders will support. Bringing this guy back? Well, maybe not. I'm Jason Scott. Thanks for watching.